Hi, I'm Missy McTaggart. In this video, we're going to look at writing tolerance notation today. So prior knowledge is basic addition and subtraction of decimals and whole numbers, maybe a wee bit of percentages, and how to find the median or midpoint of two numbers. And you should have already seen a lesson on basic tolerance and be familiar with what the, the plus or minus bit means and how to find the maximum or minimum. So, so the lesson intention today is to be able to write the tolerance notation. Um, when you know the maximum and minimum. So I'll give you the maximum and minimum and we have to write the tolerance notation that you would have seen in the first lesson. So you have seen tolerance before in maths in the classroom when you've been measuring angles. And I used this in my last video, this example. So when measuring an angle in a test, the teacher accepts anywhere between 36 and 40. So my question is, well, what was the angle we were asked to draw in this case? If she's going to accept, or he, they're between 36 and 40, what was the angle you were meant to draw in the first place? Now remember the tolerance is usually, it's the same above and the same below. So our method is to think what's right in the middle of 36 and 40, and you should all be able to tell me that's 38. So the angle we were actually probably asked to draw here was 38 degrees. And then you have to think, right, well, how far away are each of these two numbers from 38? Well, 36 is two below and 40 is 2 above. So there is the bit that you're, you're adding on and taking away. So the actual answer was 38 plus and minus 2. So that would have been the tolerance notation given to the teacher in the marking scheme. And we probably had brackets around it and we probably had degrees. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So to make it really, really simple, I've come up with some steps. So step one, Whatever I give you for the maximum and minimum, you're going to find the median or middle value. Remember, median is just a fancy word for middle. You're going to find what that is. Once you find out what that is, step two, you work out how far away each of the numbers I give you are from that middle value. And then that's the bit that goes on the end with a plus and minus. And then step three is writing it all down. You've probably already written down the median, plus or minus. And then that distance bit is what you worked out in step two. So technically, this is step one and this is step two. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So let's have a look at question one. So when making boxes of chocolates and things, they're never all the exact same weight, right? There's always a degree of inaccuracy. But an acceptable range of values um, for a box of chocolates is between 485 and 505 grams, right? So 485 and 505 grams. We have to write this using the correct tolerance notation. So the first thing we have to do is work out that middle value. So step one, get the middle value. So what is in the middle of 485 and 505? Now, there are two ways to do this. Most of you will probably look at that and say, right, well, that's a gap of 20. Half of 20 is 10, and you'll work out what's 10 away from each of those numbers, won't you? And you'll say, oh, it's 495. So the middle number is 495. Now you've already, I've already said what the plus and minus bit was when I did that there. If the gap is 20, half of that is 10. Now we've just written down what was 10 away from each of these numbers. So the plus or minus bit then is 10. So that is our notation there. But what if the gap in the numbers is really, really big or it's decimals and you're struggling? There is another way to find the median. You might not be aware of it because it's technically called the mean or the average. If you add the two numbers together, if you add 485 and 505 together, that gives you 990, right? Then if you half that number, half of 990 is 495. Oh, that's that number I just wrote down there. Now, it wasn't easiest with that example, but it does work. So another way of getting the median, if it's just two numbers, getting the median is just adding and halving. It's the same as getting the mean of two numbers. Get your total and divide by two. So that definitely helps if you're struggling to find what the middle number is. So let's look at some more. So I've got three straightforward ones. I just want to know what the notation is for each of these. So remember our first step is find the middle. What's in the middle of four and seven? Well, 4 and 7, that's a gap of 3. Half of 3 is 1.5. So really, that's my plus and minus bit, the 1.5. What number is 1.5 away from each of those numbers? It's definitely easier to add it to the 4, which is 5.5. And just a wee double check, 
it's worth checking that adding on 1.5 to that also takes you back to 7. So there is your notation for that one, and there would be a brackets and a kilograms at the side. On my second one, what is in the middle of 2.4 and 3.2? So for this one, I'm going to try that that other way where I add in half. If I add those two numbers together, I get 5.6. Okay? Half of 5.6 is 2.8. So my middle number was 2.8. Plus or minus. How far is each of those numbers away from 2.8? Again, think of it as money if you want to. £2.80 away from £2.40. 40p, so it's 0 0.4. And then that would have brackets and a metres at the side. So I know I did that a different way, but just remember you can do the other way. The gap between 2.4 and 3.2 is a gap of 0 0.8. Half of 0 0.8 is your 0 0.4 plus or minus bit there. And then the number 0 0.4 away from each of them is 2.8. Okay, question four. What is in the middle of 8.01 and 8.09? Let's just look at the 1 and the 9. What's in the middle of 1 and 9? Well, 1 and 9 is a gap of 8. So halfway would be 4 away from each number, which would be 8.05 plus or minus, and it's 0 0.4 again. And there was no units on that one, so I don't really need to put brackets at all. Remember the other way I could have added them together and it would have been 16.1? Half of 16.1 would have been your 8.05 as well. So you might not always get it in the same order, depending on how difficult it is getting the middle number of the two. But either way, we are getting those two numbers by doing finding the middle and the distance between the two. One more example for you on this one. A bit's gone missing. I know the tolerance is something plus or minus 1.5 metres. And I know what the minimum value is. So what was the maximum value? So if I knew the minimum was 6.5, that meant that that was 1.5 away from the bit in my tolerance, which would have been 6.5 add 1.5 is 8 or 8.0. And then that would have been in the middle and then the maximum would have been adding on another 1.5. So that would have been 9.5. So the bit that should have been in the tolerance and notation was 8 and the maximum was 9.5. And that's just a different wee twist I could ask you on the questions. So that's me. This is a point where you pause and try these questions for yourself. So for each one, all I want is a notation at the side. They do get progressively harder as you get down. So remember the two ways to get the middle number, add them in half. It definitely works easy for number one and definitely works easier for number 10. Or work out the gap, half the gap and do it from there. Okay. Then when you unpause, you'll have the answers. And there is the answers to that. Okay, so what have I learned? Well, we've learned how to find the median in two different ways, by adding and halving, or by finding the, the, the jump between the two numbers, halving it and then adding it or taking it away. That's another way of finding the middle. And then some of you just find the middle by looking at it. With some numbers, it's really, really simple without any explanation. We've learned how to write the tolerance notation from the maximum and minimums and then we've learned how to answer a question in context based on tolerance that was my question one what they can also do at the end of these questions is once they've asked you to write the tolerance notation they can ask you what are acceptable values but you could have done that using the maximum minimum anyway and i don't think i needed to do any of them but anyway thanks for watching